Hello everybody, it's Mrs F here, Jake's mum, and we're going to do a bit more art today. So, now, we're trying to use things that you can find in the home, and um, a lot of people I think have this item, a lot of people say they don't have this item, I'm not sure about that, maybe check under beds, check in cupboards, because I'm pretty sure everybody's got at least one or two of these so definitely people have got these if you're not lucky enough to have any of these maybe you've moved on to the um kitchen roll already um make sure you bin it don't flush it but you can use those as well and we're going to have a look at doing some art which is called quilling and it's not the normal kind of quilling because um, you need special paper for that really. You can have a go but it's a lot harder, there's a definite art to it. We're going to use toilet rolls instead, so here we go. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to fold the toilet roll in half, then we're going to chop them. So, can I have a cameraman please? Just to hold that. No, we don't need a... Don't need a katana. Just hold it like that. Thank you. Just keep it still. Already got a be better cameraman than the last time. Here we go. So you just got to chop bits off like this. That's the main part of it. So when you're doing paper quilling, it is a bit different. You get bits of paper and you can fold them or you can curl them up and you stick them together. But we are not that good at it yet. This is the first time really I've done it. So you just, we're using blue rolls, which are really good. Okay, so now what you can do is you can make all sorts of different patterns, shapes, anything you like really. So I've been painting some using just normal um, poster paints. There's some there as well. And some of them, I'll show you why in a minute, I've done half pink and half green. I'll show you why in a bit. You, if you haven't got any poster paints, um, normal felt tips work pretty well. So there's some felt tip ones, you can just colour them in. And then you can make all sorts of patterns, pictures, whatever you fancy. So here I've got the start of something. Now these ones have already glued down. The glue that works the best is definitely PVA glue. Here's my PVA glue. I think it's from the Mesozoic era. It is ancient. It is pretty gloopy. It kind of does the job, but that's all I've got at home. If you've got um if you've got what am i thinking of like prit stick or something like that that would work well um but i think you'd probably as you glue it down you probably need to maybe put a book and just put a book and keep it on there so it glues so it stays properly i wonder if you can tell what i've made here can you see what this is going to be so we're going to get some more of these, put them on here. Jake, do you know what it is? It's Can you a tell? tree. It's a tree. It's a tree. Yes, it is a tree. blossom tree. It's a tree tree. Blossoms it's starting tree. to come on the trees now. It's a tricky tree. Which is lovely. We need a few leaves on here, don't we? Leaves, mm. there's one. And there we go. So obviously you would glue that down. And there is the blossom tree. So that's what one of the things I've been making. You could make any other thing. So again, we were looking at um, India. You could do a really good peacock, I reckon, with this. It can make a really nice peacock. Now, what I was doing with these, with the two colours, is... I was trying out lots of different patterns because maybe if you're not 
so keen on doing this kind of thing you could do something a bit more maybe um maths related um i made this pattern here and the good thing about it is that when you have the different colors on each side it makes it look like we've got a circle pink circle then we've got a green circle then we've got a pink circle then we've got a green circle it's just a nice little pattern obviously we've got possibly got the olympics coming up not sure what's going on there but maybe you could do an olympic ring themed pattern okay jake do you want to have a go making a pattern with these ones here just have a go just have a go on there for us see what you can make you can do whatever you like obviously if you don't have any glue at all you could just take a picture just take a picture of it and i would love to see that that'd be really lovely or you could just keep them separately and you could just play with them make different patterns make different pictures as much as you like. What are you making, Jake? Just to make. Mm, very good. Yeah, definitely makes a good snake. Very cool. I like it. So, which is, is this his head? Yes. Ah, and is that his tongue? Yeah. And then his body and his tail. Very cool snake. What else could you make? Could you make a uh, flower? Could you make it into a flower shape, big flower? Ooh, I like what you're doing there. You're bending them apart a bit, are you, to make them more petal-like? Good thinking. Yeah, when I did the tree, I squeezed these together a bit to make them look more like a branch. And I opened these out a bit to make the leaves and petals a bit wider. And these ones here, I tried to keep them as even as possible so that the circles looked really circle-like. Oh, that's really good, Jake. Really cool. Nice flower. That's brilliant. Perfect for Mother's Day. Which is very soon. Lovely. Should we put that one there and make it into a leaf? Beautiful flower. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye. See you.